Hi everyone, my name is Maria Ftimova and I'm a structural engineer at Kostain. I'm originally from Bulgaria. I came over to England to study civil engineering in Salford University. After I've graduated, I started working for a small engineering company on temporary works. And then I've moved on to a bigger company, which I work in at the moment, Kostain, where I work in various infrastructure projects like roads, bridges, railway, buildings, wastewater treatment plants and many different. There are many different projects and options for an engineer that can work on. There is a large amount of flexibility and a big choice. I was offered different type of positions and I wanted to get experience from different ones before I decide, which is why I'm trying to jump from project to project and look at uh, how different types of uh, engineer deal with different types of projects. As an engineer, you have a big possibility of whether you want to work in an office or in a building site. For example, if you work in an office like I do, you use computers and in your daily work, you use maths, physics, different designing softwares, which is going to show you how your design of a building, for example, is going to look when it's being built and, and things like that. If you work in a in a site, you have to have to wear high vis hat, hats, and go around construction sites and inspect to see that all the construction work is going well and that everything is built according to plan. It's not um, very well known that there's a lot of female engineers who also work on site as well as the office. For some reason, people think that if you're going to site, you need to be a male, which is not true. I know a lot of females like me that go and work on sites and in an office. Sometimes you can choose different. You can mix it together. You can decide the, the, the bigger plus of this kind of job is that you have the decision, you have the choice. Once you get your degree, you can decide what type of path you want to take, what type of projects you want to work. Do you want them to be big? Do you want them to be small? Do you want to be on site in the office? Do you want to have mixed type of work? So many different companies offer loads and loads of different possibilities. Also, once you graduated, uh, as an engineer, you have a lot of possibilities and a lot of companies are looking for engineers. It's very easy to find a job and it's very well paid as well. You will need ma, to focus on your English, maths and physics at school if you want to be able to study that in university. But in general, it is very wide gives you a very wide variety of choice after you graduate and a lot of possibilities and almost certainly you will find the job you're looking for. I know a lot of people in the engineering field who didn't know what exactly type of job they wanted to do when they first started working and they went through different ones until they found the one that gives them the most excitement after the work. The good thing is there is no days, two days being the same. It's always different stuff and different challenges you can find in your daily work as an engineer. And it's always interesting how, how you're going to overcome these challenges and how you're going to solve the next problem. It's always interesting. You're always learning on the job. You never stop learning and you never get bored. One of the reasons why I decided to be an engineer is because I wanted to be able to look around the cities and see like, and tell my parents that I've helped design this building and this road whenever we pass them, which does make them very proud as well. And also as an engineer, the, the further you progress in your career, the bigger kind of projects you can work on. And then you can work in one of the famous skyscrapers in Manchester or anything similar. It's very large area of possibilities and a lot, a lot to inspiration take around you in the city. If, if you want to learn more about engineering and how to get into it, you can feel free to contact me. Thank you.